Hey YouTubers, SurvivalCraft here, coming at you with another video. This is specifically for my UK brothers and sisters. Um, I don't know. I, I feel in some ways like I should start this out with a rant about how it's so stupid that <laughs> the, the UK government doesn't allow UK citizens to carry any type of devices for their own self-defense. Um, they can't carry, well, of course they can't carry a gun, but they can't carry knives. They can't carry mace or pepper spray. Um, can't carry tasers. I mean, it, uh, largely people are left without anything but their their voice, a whistle, and their hands <laughs> to be able to protect themselves. So, um, I thought of, of a, I guess you could say an EDC kit um, for UK self-defense. And really, this kit consists of two things. Number one, a very sturdy umbrella. Now, I'm sure anywhere you live in the UK, it rains... 24-7. I mean, I live in Edinburgh, and it rains constantly. It poured down rain today for a good four hours straight. And that's nearly nearly two, three times a week. Um, the other thing is a good flashlight. Something with a lot of lumens. Preferably something that not only does bright, but also will flash. Now, why do I say this? Number one, flashlight is easily concealable. Um, it's something that you can put in your pocket. It's, um, it's also something that uh, can be used for non-defense purposes, for investigating things, for checking things out, um, for, for just about anything. But it also can be used to stun an attacker. So let's say someone's coming at me and um, or has approached me aggressively and I want to um, do something that gives me favor in the confrontation. Well, I can stun them with a bright flash of light and then either retaliate or even better um, get away from the situation altogether to run um, to leave. Uh, so flashlight can really work. Just a quick burst in the eyes and seeing that most confrontation happens at night then uh, most people people's eyes, they're, they're already um, acclimated to low light. So a quick flash of bright light, in this case 200 lumens, is definitely enough to stun someone for three to five seconds if not more. And then the umbrella, of course, can be used not only for water protection and is constantly needed, but it can also be used as a poking device or as a blunt force object, which in this case I went and got the heaviest handled umbrella I could find. This is by Totes. I don't know if you can read that. And, um, I mean, it's held up for two years of just carrying. I'm sure it could also hold up in case I ha ever had to use it as some type of baton. But it's, it's something that's useful outside of self-defense. But it's also something that you see everyone carrying on the street. Nobody thinks twice about it. So, um... This can be kept out in the open, be used as a weapon if necessary, and this can be concealed and also be used as a weapon slash diversionary tactic, things like that, if necessary. And this goes not only for UK citizens, but even for US citizens who live in parts of the country where certain items such as knives and guns aren't allowed. Um, I, before moving here, I lived in Chicago, and it was the same there. In a lot of places, knives and guns are not allowed. And so, while I usually didn't carry an umbrella, 
I did always carry a flashlight. Not this flashlight, but I did always carry a flashlight. And um, luckily I never had to use it um, in the situation that required me to use it for self-defense. Um, but I had it ready in case I ever did need it. So I hope this helps. I hope it gave you some ideas. If you like it, please like it below. And feel free to comment. Have a great day, and um, I'll see you next time.